So Atenas is uh, currently the new hero that just uh, just got out. Well, sort of. Um, since well, we can play him since some of us pre-ordered Legacy of the Void for the StarCraft, and that gives us some early access to our tennis, which is this guy right here. And Atenas is currently the Protoss leader, is uh, and he's the predecessor from uh, from Tassadars, we know from from the StarCraft series. But anyway, I want to bring you through some some of tennis gameplay and I've been playing him uh, quite a bit these last couple of days well that must be since yesterday I don't think it was playable two days ago but anyway let's say yeah I, I think it was yesterday but I've been playing him constantly and I think I'm around level 5 with him right now and I do have plans to go up further but right now I want to go through how I like to play him and first of all I have to shout out that this is a quick match game because I do not want to bring him to the hero league just yet I just want to get the right feeling with him before I bring him into a hero league and currently I swing between rank 1 and rank 3 uh, you have some wins you have some losses streaks and stuff like that you know the deal with the, the ranking system but first of all I would like to point out that do not see our tennis as a tank warrior He's definitely not a tanky warrior, so I could I would say you could compare him to like a hero like Tyrael, um, let alone the colors of him. I'm gonna survive this. Don't worry, I got this. See, I'm playing against Nova, so I just want to get in between the the uh, the creep right here. So when she tries to snipe me, the snipe round will hit uh, some random creep unit. But anyway. Uh, Oh yeah, I want to point out when 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 his passive his natural trait is ready, you can see that this ball right here is uh, is lit up uh, in his uh, back shield thing. I don't know what it is, but that is an indicator to that your shield is ready. So it's it's kind of nice to know. And uh, let's see. I guess it is. I'm not sure now. Oh, maybe it's not. We'll just, we'll just try to take notice of that. But anyway, you can see it's charged up again. Might be the shield is ready. I am not sure. I am not sure, but it doesn't matter. But what I came from is that our tennis is actually a kind of initiative warrior with damage. I do, I do want to. I want to. I don't want to see him as a tank warrior because that would be wrong. And I think I'm gonna bite the dust right here. That was a bad initiative for me. Or am I lucky? Maybe. I should have turned around and actually killed Morales. But first I did that and he fell himself. So Atenas is like your secondary warrior and it seems it up. I would not bring him to a team fight as the only warrior. That would be bad, I think. But I guess some setup would work with it. Not saying that you need a tank warrior every game. But don't uh, don't mistake Eternus for being a tank warrior because he's definitely not. So let's just see the first couple of talents that I've chosen. Uh, when I play Eternus, I really want to go in for damage with him. That's that's the way I like to play him. You could go for a more tanky build, but I haven't had games where that is actually a success. So I basically always run as damage dealing warrior so of course I do the seasoned marksman and then I do the lethal uh, alacrity I don't know if it's pronounced correct but increase the blast stage range uh, and speed by 30 percent and I do this primarily because I do want some wave clear because the regular wave clear from Q is actually pretty bad it deals like no damage and it will show that it will come in handy in team fights later on but you'll see that so I'm just about to clear this wave and get the XP of course I see a lot of people playing on this map and when the enemy team gets the terror they all like rush him and chase him around the map completely neglecting XP while the enemy team is just like collecting XP while we're not and that will 
in the end, inevitably lose the game for us. So that's why I stay here. No reason to chase him around. So our third talent is about to pop. I really don't know why he's calling me. Uh, I never figured that out. But you can see we got three... I guess you could say two already defending against the Terra, and they're doing a fine job actually. To hell with the gate, it doesn't really matter anyway. As long as we don't lose the fort. That's the right thing. I'm still soaking XP right here. And currently waiting to adjust the situation. I don't want to extend myself too much. And as, a, as we can see, we saw them at the bottom, so we, we kind of guessed that they were here. And now I gotta get out. Because never fight Butcher when he marks you for death like that. You cannot win a one-on-one -on -one fight with Butcher like that. Luckily, this Morales is playing a decent game. Anyway, let's just pause it and look at the third um, talent. It's a uh, Solari Rape Reaper. Uh, increase the damage of the first dash of Blade Dash by 150%. Um, yeah, again, damage. And I really, really, really love that ability. And you can see Morales is around here slowly. Should be able to pick her off. Can I actually recall if I did so? Um, I might even get picked off. Yeah, I just realized there were four of them. And I didn't realize that Morales went back and that Southstad wasn't around. He was probably dead from before, but anyway. I kind of point out to them that it's a good idea to generally just press the V button that you're fleeing and that you want to pull back. It's in peril that you look at your minimap to actually see if there's presence of enemy heroes and furthermore that you're not alone or stuff like that. So the minimap is always important. So I just realized they will get Butcher down here so I just start off by getting seats and we can see Nova is here. Oh, the displacement, such a great tool from Atenas. And Nova will fall and do fall. No chance of surviving that. The displacement, it's a pretty effective weapon uh, used correctly. You could quickly find yourself in a situation where you displace yourself with another hero only to be f stacked up against enemy. Uh, Enemy, enemy heroes and quickly taken down, so that's generally a bad idea, but it's great for chasing fleeing heroes, and uh, one thing I would like is that if you could cover it with uh, your charge thing, uh, let's see, I forgot the name, um, this ability, uh, the, the, the Q one, uh, <laughs> I kind of forget what it's called now. But anyway, I would like if you could combo those two. Like dash forward and uh, just do a displacement at the same time. That would be pretty great. So I will have to do a post on that. See, enemy team is leeching top as they're supposed to, but now they're chasing kills at the middle, which is kind of bad. So me, Avatar, and our gun turret can easily take it down. You can see that this confuses Morales a lot. She does not know where to go. Displacement and charge back and forth, and she will inevitably fall too. So we came out on top of that one. And again, leeching XP. We got Avatar leeching the top, no point being there. And there's nothing to leech at the bottom since the, since our Kree wave is pushed all the way to the back. 
And there's no real reason to go there because you would only die. So that's why I'm releasing the mid right now. And we'll get some damage up to this gate right here. No idea why I didn't finish that tower right there. Oh, like that. Yeah, notice that you can slide through buildings. And you can actually... I'd have to say that 9 out of 10 of you watching this is... have been in a situation where you're, play, where you're fighting against this enemy hero and he just barely makes it past the gate and into safety. And that is where Tannis, uh, one of his abilities, the charge one, actually comes into uh, to great effect. You can dash forward in between the walls and then you can execute them behind the walls and just dash back to safety. Notice that the medevac drop just looked like a private ship when with the destination point is set. You can see that on the minimap. So, nice and easy with two camps, one one hot camp pushing the bottom. Yeah, I think Sagara is going down to defend it actually, which just makes it even greater for us. He goes kind of nuts here. And I'm using my ultimate on Butcher to deny him right here. And we will go nuts here. Get my shield up, luckily. Will I get Nova? I think so. Being chased by Butcher too. I'm not gonna survive this in the end. Let's just take a look at the talents again. I used the Purification Beam. Oh, Purifier Beam. I, it's, I think it's extremely powerful since it has unlimited ranges, you can see. And it's just an upgraded version of Nova's, I think. I'm not sure it deals the same amount of damage, but if they stand still in it, they will definitely get fried. Because it, you can see dealing 320 damage per second over 8 seconds, that's a lot of damage. Um, and, the, and the beam will chase the, the target as they move. So, other people running into the beam will take the damage, I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, I haven't tested this out yet, but it's definitely something that I need to test out. And then of course the triple strike at level 13. Again. Let's just take a wee look at the stats right here. So I'm 62, which is generally fine, I guess. You can see the hero's damage after 10 minutes and 14,000. I guess it's decent for a warrior. Could be greater though. And my XP contribution is fine. And I'm about to re-enter the game in one second now. They're actually doing great there. Enemy Arsene is using displacement. And here comes the better Arsene. See how this uh, copes out. Could have gone from for Nova right there, but pretty sure they would have handed her ass anyway. Using the displacement grenade on the enemy Ratanis as he's trying to flee from me. And he will not get away from this. You see the enemy Ratanis actually used his abilities incorrect if you ask me. And he used them to his own disadvantage. And I have to say, our tennis with the Everhead, it's it's pretty amazing actually. And I gotta see this. I just went nuts on him. Oh, trade up there. Okay. Anyway, me and Lieutenant Morales is doing pretty easy down here. Yeah, like Gasol said, never fight a butcher when he's uh, when he smacked you. And the dropship, really like that one. And let's go out and see. I can't really recall whether we would win this one or not. Getting caught, oh no! 
so I'm using my beam on Morales as Morales is usually made of glass. And again, the displacement grenade, such a great one. Could have used it right now, actually, for this. Fleeing enemy or tennis. So enemy tennis took the other ultimate where he can, with unlimited range, what I wanted to try here if I could dash right in and take the the healing shrine, but I couldn't. Right there. In just a second I'm gonna take the next talent. And I realized there's no point in going after Nova right now, so I'm actually just gonna take the Terra right here to get the seeds. Meanwhile, our Terra has just been gnawing through the bottom lane here, and it will eventually open it, I think, for catapults. Um, you see, I took the triple strike at rank uh, level 13, and uh, you can see this is why I do it. I think it combo well with Titan Killer, since the Twin Blaze attack against here deals an additional 2.5 health of, uh, of the maximum target health uh, in damage, and that is why I take these two. I think they... They combo really great. Mm, no idea why enemy Nova would do that. I don't think Nova has any stacks. Yeah. She's gone for gathering power and she just died before so I wouldn't fear her. Anyway, we got a second Terra. Gasler still trying to push through up here in the middle. And the rest of us just going back. And another drop ship. You can see it's the pirate ship right here. There we go. Notice this drop ship, it's actually not. I don't think it's an exact drop ship from StarCraft 2, like the Metabag. It's it's the drop ship, like Reyna's drop ship when you played um, if you played the single player missions, you would always arrive in such a drop ship and not an exact medevac ship. And you can see Gathlet just pointing out that Abba should take it. That means Abathur should take it. Because we're able to do a final push and we would have more gain of having one of the actual frontline heroes out in the field um, and have Gaslow being inside the terror right now. <coughs> and I actually failed to see Nova there. We could have revealed her with our dash forward. And now this is going to be an intense team fight, and a team fight that I actually pretty much enjoyed, and that is gonna win us the game right now. They could have defended this if they played it properly, but they didn't, so we are going to strike them hard. Particle Beam, Hindle and Blast, and a lot of stuff, so that did win us the game, and a great ultimate from Gaslow right there. Some people, they don't really pay attention to what sort of, what sort of ultimates the enemy team is taking, and if they had known better, they would not have done so. Um, because they know if they clumped up, they would be caught in all of our ultimates. And it's great timing by our team too, so... Well, you can only uh, promote that you go out and play some of our tennis. He's really great, but do not play him as a tank. He's not a tanky warrior. He's like this uh, secondary warrior you can go in with... I don't know, he probably combos with a lot of warriors. I, I can't say for sure, but do not take him as a tank. That will be utter fail. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the link in the video.